In this module of Chapter 2 on Life Tables, Module 2.7, I will list and briefly describe four metrics or sets of metrics that are relevant to life table analysis, including measures of central tendency, life table aging rates, life table entropy, and sensitivity of life expectancy to changes in PX. The first are the three measures of central tendency that are applied to the DX schedule, or distribution of deaths by age. The first is mean, which is also life expectancy at birth. It refers to the average number of years remaining to a newborn. Median refers to the age at which half of all deaths have occurred. And mode refers to the age corresponding to the highest frequency of deaths. The figure to the right shows the ages for the mean, median, and modal ages of deaths for U.S. females in both 1900 and 2000. Note that for both years, even though the values of the three metrics are substantially different, the order from youngest to oldest ages are similar between years. The mean, then the median, and then the mode. The second metric is life table aging rate. The parameter uh, life table aging rate, acronym LAR, denoted KX, is defined as the rate of change in mortality at age X. This measure is based on relative rather than absolute rate of change in mortality with age. The formula is given as follows, where MX denotes the central death rate a metric closely related to QX that I will cover in the next set of lectures on mortality. Life table aging rate is a measure of the slope of mortality with respect to age. As an illustration, computations of KX from Drosophila QX schedule for ages 10 and 70 days are K10 equals 0.1972 and K70 equals 0.0279. These values indicate that Drosophila mortality was increasing by nearly 20% per day at day 10, but less than 3% per day at day 70. The third model is life table entropy. This provides a metric to evaluate uh, improvements in mortality and survival in a population. So if all individuals die at exactly the same age, the LX schedule is rectangular whereas if all individuals have exactly the same probability of dying at each age, the LX schedule decreases geometrically. So the distribution of deaths by age varies greatly between these two patterns. A measure of this heterogeneity, known as entropy, denoted H, can be computed with this formula. The sum of products EXDX in the numerator can be viewed as either the weighted average of life expectancies at age X, the average days of future life that are lost by the observed deaths, or the average number of days an individual could expect to live if given a second chance on life. The denominator is the expectational life at uh, birth, E0, which converts an absolute effect into a relative effect. Entropy H can be interpreted as either the proportional increase in life expectancy at birth if every individual's first death were averted, the percent change in life expectancy produced by a reduction of 1% in the force of mortality at all ages, or thirdly, the number of days lost due to death per number of days lived. Here are example survival curves for short, medium, and long-lived cohorts of Drosophila with corresponding entropy values. Note the following. First, there are similar H values around 0.4 for both the shortest and the longest-lived cohorts, even though there's large differences in their expectation of life. This implies similarities in the shapes of these uh, respective curves at the young and the older ages. Second, H values from around 0.4 to 0.5 imply that given a second chance, flies in each of these three groups would live 40 to 50% longer. The last model I discuss in this module is the sensitivity analysis for E0 to survivorship PX. 
In the analysis of survivorship, it is possible to evaluate how a small change in survival at a specified age would change the expectation of life at birth, E0. The general form for computing sensitivity of a change in Px on E0 is given in this formula. Thus, the change in E0 relative to a change in Px equals the product of the, the inverse of age-specific survival at age x and the sum of the LX values, that is life days or life years, beyond age x. This expression illustrates two important aspects of the sensitivity of E0 to a small change in age-specific survival. First, as x increases, the sum of the LXs from x to omega, that is the oldest ages, age, continually decreases. Therefore, all else being equal, the effect of a change in survival on E0 will usually, although not always, be greater at younger ages than at older ages. Second, expectation of life E0 will be most greatly affected by changes in period survival that are low rather than those that are high. This is evident by noting that the term outside the summation is an inverse of a fraction. Thus, the inverse of a fraction, in this case, uh, uh, survival probability, that is low, will create a larger coefficient than will be the inverse of a fraction that is near 1.0. Uh, this completes module 2.7 on these uh, four selected life table metrics. Further details and original references, all of these parameters are contained in Chapter 2 of Biodemography. In the next module, I will describe applications of the life table method to single decrement processes other than to death.